Long before the Black Lives Matter movement, the pioneering hip-hop group N.W.A. was raising its voice against police brutality. Twenty-five years later, the group is the subject of what will likely be this weekend's most talked about movie. And Vladimir Dutier has that story. You're listening to Compton's very own Ice Cube, Easy e and Dr. Dre. I got to tell you, you are witnessing history. They were N.W.A., five guys from inner city Los Angeles who, in 1988, released a groundbreaking album, Straight out of Compton. Yeah. The police coming straight from the underground. A young got it back because I'm brown. The album was labeled Gangster Rap. It aired an unflinching look at urban America and police brutality. You can't come down here and arrest people just because of what they look like. Are you crazy? Ow, ow. But that's police harassment. Hip-hop icon and former member of NWA, Ice Cube, helped produce the film. We started to have these, these people coming from all directions to try to discredit us and try to really stop us, you know, from the FBI to the police. And not the other color, so police think they have the authority to kill a minority. LA Times writer Lorraine Ali says Straight Outta Compton hits at issues that are still relevant today. I mean, we're talking about police brutality, unarmed black men getting killed by police across the country. It's only in jail, we can go toe to toe in the middle of a cell. The film's release has movie theaters beefing up security. LAPD Commander Andy Smith says they're not taking any chances. In the interest of safety and because we're not in the optimism business, we're always going to deploy extra officers to events like this. Universal told us it partnered with theaters who have requested support for their locations. The studio wouldn't say what kind of support. I think the security around it is a bit of a double standard. I mean, we're not talking about this for other films. Isn't this the very sort of thing they were rapping about? Like, this is what you expect from young black men, so we better beef up security. That some theaters did request security given the film's gang references, Scott. There were no reported incidents at yesterday's advanced screenings. Vladimir Dutier, thank you very much, Vlad.